The late 90s Broncos, led by the resilient and powerful arm of iconic quarterback John Elway, must undeniably be amongst the greatest, most potent offensive powerhouses in NFL history. With Elway's relentless performances, these seasons culminated in back-to-back -back Super Bowl victories, and they did it on the back of a new offensive scheme that took the NFL by storm, and it was the first time we were introduced to the Shanahan wide zone offense. We're going to do a deep dive into the critical principles of this offense. We're going to set our offense up to strike just like the Broncos did. Then we're going to explore the key stars that rendered their offense nearly unstoppable and guide you how to infuse the dynamism and potency of the Broncos offense into Madden 23. The wide zone offense was brought to the Broncos by Mike Shanahan and his O-line coach Alex Gibbs and it instantly became almost impossible for defenses to stop. Now formationally the wide zone offense was primarily under center with one single running back. This allowed them to employ a heavy dose of their zone blocked wide zone run game. Then they would use formations with multiple tight ends. This gave them the ability to have more size on the field and move people in the run game. But these tight ends also needed to be able to get downfield and make plays off the play action pass game as receivers also. And to replicate this wide zone scheme, we are going to be using these three formations in the West Coast playbook. Then this is actually all a part of a bigger scheme I am creating where I break down five five offenses from the NFL's golden era from the mid 80s to the late 90s and each of these will be run out of the west coast playbook so they can all be used together and the playlist for the whole scheme will be down in the description. The wide zone blocking scheme that characterized the 90s Broncos was a master stroke of offensive football. A system predicated on mobility, synergy and technique. In this scheme the offensive line moved laterally as a unit at the snap aiming to create horizontal gaps in the defensive line. The focus was on creating double teams at the point of attack with one blocker eventually progressing to the second level and this scheme paved the way for multiple potential running lanes making for a dynamic and consistently effective run game that became the cornerstone of the Broncos back-to-back -back Super Bowl victories. For this Broncos scheme we've equipped our three offensive linemen with the post-up ability. This ability allows them to be incredible at double team blocks enabling them to move defenders off the ball and this is crucial for our wide zone offensive attack. This creates wide running lanes that our back can exploit and is great for plays like inside and outside zone mirroring the Broncos style during their Super Bowl runs where they could spring star running back Terrell Davis for huge pickups. And for our running back, we want to target similar traits and I'm using the Emmett Smith card in this role. The first run we are looking at is HB stretch in single back doubles flex, but what we break down here can be used in any outside zone run or stretch run in Madden. For wide zone or stretch runs, the guiding principle here is the three Bs, bounce, bend, or bang. Here the key is not only to read the defense's flow, but to also react to it correctly, essentially determining whether to take the run outside, cut it back inside, or push it upfield. The run will start with an outside handoff to the running back and the whole O-line working as a unit down the line. The aim point here is for the running back to target the outside of the offensive tackle. The key to this stretch run play though is patience. Let your blocks develop and once the hole opens up, you explode upfield. Your first read or your one key is the outside player on the line a scrimmage, usually the defensive end or outside linebacker. If your line is able to block them and turn them inside, this is called the reach block in the wide zone, and this will allow us to bounce this run to the outside, and we can get into the open field and make a play with our running back. If they have not been reached, we're going to move on to our second read or two. This is the next player inside on the defensive line. If they've been reached or sealed off inside by your blockers, and the number one player is setting the edge to the outside, then you'll execute a bend, cut back inside into the alley created between one and two and you want to explode through this gap and get in behind your pads and make a play. If neither the bounce or bend options are available and the D-line is spilling out your blockers, that's when you bang, taking the ball straight up field into whatever space is available and if the D overplays to the stretch side, this can enable a big cutback for us to bang back and pick up some big yardage. The next run we are looking at is zone weak alert Z smoke in single back ace, but you can use what you learn here for any inside zone run you use in matter. For the inside zone, the guiding principle here is the three Bs once again, but now it's going to be bang, bend, then bounce. The key here is to correctly read the defense and make the appropriate decision based on the blocks that set up in front of you. The run will start with a handoff from the quarterback under center with the offensive line executing his own blocking scheme working in unison to push the defensive line and linebackers away from the direction of the run. The aim point here for the running back is the outside hip of the offensive guard. Patience is crucial in the inside zone run play. Let your blocks set up, find the crease 
beast then rip through it. Your first read is going to be the defensive tackle or the first defensive lineman inside of the offensive tackle. If your line is able to successfully block this player and turn him and create a seam, this is your bang phase. You'll take the ball into this gap as it opens up, get upfield as quickly as possible, and this is the ideal outcome for this run. If this first gap is closed off, then our eyes will shift inside, and if they overplay to the front side of the play, this can open up the backside A gap, and you can execute the bend phase, cutting back inside into the alley as our offensive linemen get to the second level, and as you hit this hole, you want to explode through this gap and run super physical. Then for the third option, if we get the handoff and the front side A gap is clogged, and we look and there is no bend read in the backside A gap, then we want to look to the outside for our bounce read, and if they get caught inside, now we can hit this edge and get ready to make a play in the open field. The wide zone run game of the late 90s was an essential piece of the offensive puzzle, and it was the very element that made their play action pass game so devastating. The consistent success of the ground attack that had defenses committing to stopping the run, which in turn opened up big play opportunities in the pass game. With the defense biting on the fake handoff, John Elway was able to boot out the other way and move and find open receivers. Elway's athleticism was an integral part of these play action plays, and we want to use our quarterback in the exact same way, booting him out, getting him on the run where we can fire in darts. At my QB, I'm using the Joe Montana Ultimate Legend card, and he has that perfect mix of pinpoint accuracy to put the ball in perfect spots and arm strength to push the ball down the field and make some big plays in this pass game. Then I'm using Heart Rope Master to give him more creativity on offense, though you definitely don't have to. The first play action play we are looking at here is PA Rollout RT in single back ace, and here are the adjustments for this play. Now, this is going to be a great play to get our QB on the move while working off of our dominant run game to open up multiple options down the field and create some big plays. First, we will have this hard play action fake, then we will roll out. We want to read the flat defender. If he stays shallow, then we want to fire in this corner out as he breaks to the sideline, and this can be a really nice gain. Now, for a quick coaching tip on this play, but really any play action rollout, you can cancel your rollout at any time just by hitting the R2 button. This will let you set up in the pocket and allow your blockers to stay in front of the rushers and will give you more time to fire in this football down the field. Next, if after the fake, the flat defender is staying deeper on the tight end on the corner route, then we have this other tight end on the drag coming across the field and we can drop it down to him and let him make a play in the open field. Then if after the fake, we see the user fire down to stop the run or leave the middle of the field to take the corner route, then we have this Z post attacking the middle of the field. And if he is open, this is a great option to pick up some chunk yardage deeper down the field. The second play action play will be PA double post in single back doubles flex. And here are the adjustments for this play. This will have a play action fake, but now instead of rolling out, we'll set up in the pocket and we will have some great options pushing down the field and we can really push this ball deep for some big pickups. Now, the first place we want to look here is the outside breaking corner on the short side. And this is great versus cover two. He will break inside the corner on that side, not get jammed. And as he breaks back out, he will be wide open in behind him and you can drop it in for a big pickup. Then this can also work first cover three. Now, as this route breaks towards the sideline, the deep third will get pulled back by the tight end streak and this receiver will get open along the sideline for another big game. Then after the play action fake, if we can get the user pulled down to play the run or if he tries to play the corner route on the sideline, we have this post over the middle that you can throw before they get to the safety for a nice pickup. Then after the play action fake, if we see the whole defense getting back underneath our corner route and our post over the middle, then we're going to have our running back going down to the flat and you can drop it down to him for your check down on this play and let him make a play in the open field. The late 90s Broncos offense had an arsenal of formidable weapons in the past game, each capable of posing a unique threat to defenses. Leading the pack was their number one receiver in Rod Smith, a versatile talent who could win at each level of the field. Smith's agility, sharp route running, and reliable hands made him a constant threat. And in this number one receiver role, I am using Jerry Rice, who is a similar stature and offers the same blend of precise route running and great hands to make plays. Complementing Smith was the towering presence of Ed McCaffrey. McCaffrey was a tall receiver with an exceptional catch radius and made his name by making contested catches, often leaping over defenders to haul in the football. In this spot, I am using Dwight Clark, who has the same size to make those tough catches, but also has the speed to get down the field and make plays. Them operating predominantly in the middle of the field was one of the all-time great tight ends, Shannon Sharp. Sharp's ability to work the seams coupled with his speed and physicality made him a force in the Broncos offense, and he had a great knack for making explosive plays after the catch. And in our tight end spot, we are going to be using George Kittle, who has that same ability to win at each level of the field, but he is 
also a very good blocker and can help open up our run game. Our next play here will be inside cross and single back ace. And here are the adjustments for this play. This is going to be an excellent chain mover versus zone coverage with options attacking each level of the field to ensure we can rack up yards versus any zone coverage look. The first place we want to look is the wheel out of the backfield. And if the flat defender on that side gets pulled out by the whip, this should leave a big opening up the shallow seam. And as long as the user stays in the middle of the field, you should be able to fire this in for a big pickup. Then if after the snap, the user or one of the hooks is sitting over the top of the wheel to take it away, then we have a triangle read over the middle with the deep post and the two drags. And if the defense is staying back, then you can just drop it down to whichever drag is more open and let them make a play in the open field with the ball in their hands. Then if you look to the triangle read and the user is pulled out of the middle and the hooks are pulled down to the drags, then we have the deep post cutting over the middle and you can fire this in for a big pickup down the field. Our next play is PA counter waggle in single back ace and here are the adjustments for this play. This play is going to be our go-to man beating play in this offense and it gives us four great options on this play including one where we can fire it in and turn it into a one play touchdown. Make sure on this play you want to block your running back to cancel the play action. Now our first read here is the outside release double move. This route will have an forced outside release that will keep the DB flat footed and your receiver will get a speed boost and shoot past him and just as this happens you want to throw this ball rack catch it and you can bust this off for one play touchdowns down the field. Make sure you throw this route before the double move happens. As soon as your receiver passes the DB you want to fire this in and this should work basically every time. Next we have the tight end on the crosser and if you don't like the first read come back over the middle and he should break off from his coverage and if he separates throw over the middle for a nice gain. Then we also have the Z post on the wide side on this play and I have route tech on this player and as he cuts over the middle you will see it activates giving us some really nice separation and you can fire this in for a big pickup over the middle of the field. Then lastly we have the tight end on a trail route and if we are getting blitzed and feel the pressure or just need to get this ball out this is a great place to go and you can fire this in as he cuts over the middle for our fourth read. Then if you want to take this offense to the next level you need to check out my website Scheme Kings. Up right now is part two of this video where I'll give you seven more plays out of this Broncos wide zone offense to allow you to make this a complete scheme with the ability to attack and take advantage of any defensive look you come up against and then there's already a ton more up on the site for this golden era scheme. Then also on the site are all my past schemes like my NCAA spread offense and my LOB Seahawks defense and a ton more. Then also on the site you can get access to my playbooks which are full written breakdowns for my schemes and I have five out so far with the newest being my Pats offense which is 64 pages long and this will help take your game to the next level. So if you want to check out Scheme Kings a link will be down in the description below. John Elway came into the league with one of the best and strongest arms ever and as he aged into the late 90s this did not go away. He could still utilize it to push the ball down the field and make some huge plays and we want to ensure we have some deep shots in our Madden arsenal as well. The deep shot we have in this scheme is going to be PA wide receiver seams in gun tight slots and here are the adjustments for this play. This is going to be an amazing play where we will have multiple options underneath but this is designed to push the ball down the field versus cover three for one play touchdowns and adds an explosive element to this scheme. Here the special route will be this inside release seam route and as he breaks up field he will get inside the deep third on that side and if we hold this ball long enough you will see the middle safety will get pulled back and to the far side by the streak route and when that happens you can bomb them over the top you just want to make sure you pass lead this up and away from the safety as far as you can and this will give you one of the most unique cover three bombs in all of Madden. Then if the bomb isn't there we will have this deep cross coming in underneath the seam route and that will pull back the deep defenders and this cross will get in behind the flats on that side for a big pickup down the field. Then if both the cross and the deep seam are taken away then we're going to have this whip in the flats as our final check down option and our third read on this play. Now this offense is going to be amazing but you can also pair it with another dominant scheme from this time with the 84 Dolphins and their explosive downfield passing attack. It is also out of the West Coast playbook just like this Broncos scheme so you can combine them to become absolutely unstoppable. So if you want to check out that Dolphins offense you need to watch this video right here.